Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Aesthetic Gaming. Today, I figured we'd switch it up. I recently reinstalled Magic the Gathering Arena. I had been on a little hiatus of Magic. It's been roughly... Oh man, it's been like a year since I've played a game. It's been a, like almost two years since I played an actual in-person card game. Um, but this is this is my this is my card game. This is what I like. Yu-Gi-Oh! I played longer, uh, but it's getting kind of stale to a point for me. It's one of those things you can, I, I can only play a card game for six months to a year before I start getting burnt out on it. So I figured, hey, let's switch it up. Let's add some additional content into the mix. Uh, but so today I just want to stream a couple. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll just stream some games of historic um this is the deck i want to play i had a good chunk of the cards before i upgraded treasure cruise is now in arena uh added is it charm this little picklock prankster i played a couple just like preliminary games just to kind of get my feet back under me um this card is actually pretty good like i mean a Two uh, two mana one three that has the adventure of mill four, and then you put an instant sorcery or fairy card among your milled cards in your hand. One of the things I noticed is there was a couple times I chained together picklock fairies or picklock prankster because I milled it, didn't hit anything, but I hit lands, which the deck only runs twenty lands, so it's kind of I might go down a little bit. I might go down a little bit, um, but basically, um, just it, it's just a way to feed your graveyard with arc like Phoenix. I like this personally instead of the Merfolk, the one mana O three that had the two mana mill four. <clears throat> this gives me just a little bit more versatility. I mean, a 1-3 flyer with Vigilance. I mean, kind of a beat stick defender. I like that you can get stuff back, like Lightning Axe, which I went up to 4. Like this, I, I don't know. i just testing it. Again, I mean, 4 Consider, 4 Opt. Slide Hands now in the deck, which I just, I love it. Storm, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Is it Storm? Oh, this just brings me back to the good old days. Spell Pierce for just a low mana. Gotcha. Fire Impulse for the smaller decks. Just like the smaller run around. I was playing against a couple decks. One was doing Monastery Swift Spear. And this was just huge. Lightning Axe to get the bigger stuff to dump our like Ledger Shredder, you know, MVP. Almost, this card is... It's controversial, but I think this card is almost better than the Arclight Phoenix. I mean, say I'm crazy, whatever. Um, I mean, other than that, you know, let's 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 not talk. Let's not talk. Let's just get into a couple games. And I want to know, do people that play have you? Has it gotten slow? <clears throat> I've noticed in in my playing that the arena is kind of slow, and nothing is ever slow on the computer. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Thank you. If you're enjoying the content that I create, give me a like, follow, a subscription, and hey, down below, just talk to me about magic. I am a huge magic nerd. I. I just there's something about it, man. I miss playing in person where I'm at. Our local game shop closed down. So I haven't had any place to play magic. And it's, it's kind of, it's, it's rough, man. I haven't played a in-person game of Magic since. 
So Arena kind of became my my go-to, and I mean I played it religiously for years and years. And then it just got to a point it kind of got stale. Let's do Ledger Shredder. Let's see. I, you know, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm rough. I have had a hard time here lately with some decks because I'm just so off of the meta. What people are going with today? While I was at work, I was just looking up like what what meta is, what decks are out there. Man, I was I was looking through a standard and I I get some of the decks, but man, I was just lost of what was in there. This Cloudstone Curio and the semblance. I mean, everything three and less is free. Like, this is, this is nice. I'm nervous that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to lie, everybody. You know, my life total is not going to really matter too much. So we're just going to go in. Do it. Let's do it. It's not gonna be really deep. creatures to kill. Arclight Phoenix, dump it. Uh, you know, one thing I'm starting to think I might want is um, uh, artifact removal main. In my sideboard, I thought I have. Nah. Oh, and I didn't talk about it. I have Gigantha as my um as a companion for the deck, just because. I mean, the deck doesn't need. The deck doesn't play anything. Um. The deck doesn't have any of the multiple color combinations. Like, I don't run Archimedes Charm or any of that good jazz. And so that itself is just a free... Uh, it's just a free card. I mean, it's a B-stick at the end of the day. Like, that's all it is. Like, you, you get this bad boy out there. You just got a freaking five-five just beater. If, you need it. if the t if those times come, which I don't. I used to, like when the companion mechanic came out. I would run um, Luros, Luris all the time. I was always running Luris. Ah, right, good game, buddy. You just kill me now. That was a rough game. But that I give it to that person. That was not so. Like that was just a nuts, nuts hand. I mean to have that much mana reduction. Alright, let's see. Game number two. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> right off the bat. Some kind of storm deck. I was sick. 
Fresh oh, I should have did it. That was a new mistake there. That was just a new mistake. Man, we just got mopped. Get rid of it. Might get something good out of it. Might get something good. That thing, though. Ooh. Ooh. Wizard. Wizard. Okay. Okay. We are just gonna pop that. Man, I. Oh, that was a mistake. I could have just opted first, and then impulse would have been three, and I could have just popped the save. Hey, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, next turn, we're going to play Ledger Shredder. Uh, and then with the other mana, we're just going to Lightning Axe this Sage. And then we'll pitch Arc Light. And then that will set us up. This is up pretty good. That will. So. I'm going to do this on that. Ledger Shredder. It's a good card. This card, Phoenix. It's gonna activate his ability. Yeah, because it fixes the prince during the curse of the cruise. You know this. This is dating my my age, but I remember when Treasure Cruise was legal in standard. Like, like I remember when that card was a thing. Okay, at least we're gonna get one. Um, one arc light back. You know, I feel like I'm so far behind. And there's one thing I'm starting to see. Like I, at the time when I left Magic, Arc Light Phoenix was a dominant deck. Like it was a deck that was just the peak of its time. I mean, it's got a lot of good support now. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I want to do a variant um, that runs Arclight Phoenix with the Thing in the Ice. As I have Thing in the Ice. I think. I think what I was thinking too, I think I have Thing in the Ice. Or I could just do a thing in the ice deck. I think that would be pretty fun. Oh, hey, there's that little, um, that two mana egg that gets, and there's four counters, and then you flip it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I. I think I'd, we're just losing this, but I'm just going to keep going and lose. You know what, guys? God. We're gonna delve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. That brings me back to the good old thing.
You know? <clears throat> Unless they have... Oh, it got trampled. Uh, I forgot that thing gives them trample. Yeah, good game. Tell them good game. Well, you know, for my debut of playing some Magic the Gathering on the channel, it's not going very well. Not at all. Let's do it again. Let us do it again. We're going to keep going until we win. Maybe that doesn't, that's not that long, but to, I remember, unless it could be that just so many people are playing this like they used to. If I was brave, like my good old days, I would have just kept it and gone. Gone with the wind. Let's do that, we'll fold up. So depending on what we draw next turn, I will have two arc lights out on the field. Alright, let's consider. Let's consider. Let's consider our options, everybody. That's a two, three. Yeah, we got this. This I'm probably gonna draw an arc light. No. Okay, we got two arc lights coming up. See this is oh <laughs> Man, I I really I'm gonna be doing some research on cards tonight to remember what is what. Discard two. Do I want land? So let's take out here. We don't want that. We don't want that. There's not really anything new. We're not like for flesh. God, okay. Key doki. Like, this is just a race against the clock, basically. Ooh, is that life? Does this one give it. Oh, my goodness gracious. We need to exterminate. We. I need to pop. Oh. Oof. I think my time is coming and going here, my friends.
You know what? Fourth time's the charm. Oh, I, I also forgot to say, I'm um, seeing this kind of late in the video. We hit 105 subscribers today. That is friggin' awesome. I don't know about you guys what you think, but I, I'm, I'm clapping. I, I thank you. I appreciate it, everybody. This is, this is awesome. I truly am thankful for every subscriber. I just want to keep this channel growing. I want to see what we can do with it, man. That's, that was the reason I did not do the impulse, fire impulse on the stop. We got three arc lights coming out. been good to have nine damage. Very nice. If he can't answer, there we go. Good game. It's not even. Not even good. I don't even mess around with that. We'll just keep going. Do another one. We got time for another one. We can get another good game like that one. in uh, modern in uh, my uh, Zori's control deck and I know what you're saying Zori's control why oh why not it was great We could 
get some arc lights into the bin. We got gas for days. Nothing to do with it. Gruel, aggro, gruel, elves, gruel. Let's just draw. Let's hold on. Let's see. I don't know what the day. Ooh, cocoa. I wish I had that. It can't just be. That's a good card. Defensive. We're gonna go defensively for a bit. That arc light is not for offensive, it's for a defensive. We're gonna flash back the Pyromancer. Alright everybody, I think that might be enough to do. Um, we're just gonna let you have it. Good game, our opponent. And there, again, everybody, thank you for joining me for another episode of Aesthetic Gaming. I hope you guys like this magic content. I want to start doing this more. I'm going to start having more of a schedule with my videos. I'm going to do four days a week, a highlight video, a main video, video game that we're doing. Um, kind of like right now, playing through Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Um, then the other three days, I'm going to split it up between doing Yu-Gi-Oh! matches and Magic. I think I might do, on those three days, do a combination of both. Either do kind of a long play of Yu-Gi-Oh! and some a long play of Magic. and um, Or just do like a longer version of Magic and then some of the highlight duels from Yu-Gi-Oh! Eh, we'll, kind of, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll figure it out. But until next time, everybody, have a good afternoon, good morning, good night, good day, wherever you're at, and I'll see you next time. Peace.